happy Friday from the Mercy Health Training Center. Alex Deck joined by Tom Glarder. It's kind of Orlando weather, getting, getting these guys there. set for Sunday's game. Yeah, you know a little bit of rain last night brought the humidity up a bit. Uh, maybe not as nice for living conditions, but for preparing to play in Central Florida, certainly ideal mm -hmm. conditions. So the Orange and Blue are going back on the road. They get a home win under interim head coach Yoan Dame becomes the youngest MLS coach to uh, actually oversee a match. So a big win for him. They're carrying that momentum. What are your expectations for Sunday's match? Yeah, under 30 years of age for Johan, and the team comes out and gets him three points in his debut. You know, it's interesting, and I talked to Yo last week before the match. He told me he was excited to get one under the belt and see how everybody would respond, and he felt like the information he would gain between that match and this one against Orlando would really help him prepare for Orlando City, and I think the team came out and gave a very positive performance. However, now Orlando knows what he's doing. Montreal didn't have that coming in. Obviously, they made adjustments at halftime. So there's some data now on the club under Johan. So it'll be interesting to see how Orlando prepares for the orange and blue and also how the team builds with another week of preparation. It's a little bit of a guessing game for what Orlando want to do. Two different lineups, two different formations in those last two matches, but they did have a game across the country. So the orange and blue are keeping the focus on themselves. And Yohan even talked about the team coming together, how important that is when they're on the road in those away matches. So how have you seen them coming together also influenced by the playing style that he's implemented. You know, scoring a couple goals, getting a win certainly helps everybody come together. And I think that was the case last weekend and now a week to build toward, towards Orlando. You get on the plane, you spend time together, you're in the hotel, you have all those meals together and you're right. It's a guessing game. What's Orlando going to do? Well, they made one of the longest trips in Major League Soccer this week and they rotated heavily on Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. James O'Connor generally plays three in the back probably expect to see three in the back uh, for the match against FC Cincinnati, but we won't know until 3 o'clock uh, you know, on Sunday when these two teams take the pitch. So I think Yohan doing the right thing right now. This team has gone through change. They're keeping the focus on themselves, and they really have an opportunity, like I said, to build upon that great performance against Montreal. And Orlando have a very dynamic trio up top, and they have depth up there as well. But yes. some of the guys that FC Cincinnati are going to have to shut down them, you know, they are threatening, but they've also given up 19 goals. So I think that gives FC Cincinnati a little bit of confidence maybe to, to score some more goals, continue that run. Yeah, I think it has to, right? You had two great build-ups with 16 passes and 11 passes on the two goals yeah. against Montreal. There were other opportunities in that match for the Orange and Blue, and now you go against Orlando, and of course Chris Mueller's had a great start to the season. He's been the super sub in a couple situations and started some matches. Nani is doing really well. Of course, they have Tom Dwyer. Everybody knows what he is capable of. So yeah, they're very explosive up top, and they're a team that'll concede as well. So they've been in a lot of high-scoring matches, so mm -hmm. FC Cincinnati, I think, needs to do exactly Exactly what they did against Montreal. Be focused and ready from the start. Be ready to attack from the start and try to get that early goal and get the momentum in their in their favor. Hopefully that's what happens on Sunday. Kickoff is set for three o'clock. Make sure you tune in on Star 64. Tom Glarder, Kevin McCloskey, and Lindsay Patterson will have the call. Of course, you can listen to it and head to our watch party at Buffalo Wings and Rings in Liberty Township. For Tom Glarder, Alex Tech, thanks for tuning in.